and welcome to video number six in our series introducing you to the basics of programming in Python and in this video we're going to look back again at variables and this time we're going to look at ways of changing the contents of the variables in our program so if you look back at what we covered in our last video and if you haven't uh, looked at the last video where we looked at input process output and how to enter data into a program I suggest you go back and have a look at that video first but if you've seen that one hopefully you're familiar with the idea of what we did which was use putting data into our system with an input statement and then processing and outputting that data later on now that's fine but what we've still got in the program here is that our values don't actually change the value of our variable length once it's been set by the user doesn't actually change and the word variable actually means change if something is variable it's changing so we can use something called mathematical operators to change the value of our variables in Python and in fact in scratch don't be worried if this sounds really complicated because in fact it isn't uh, to give you an idea of what we're talking about um, these are mathematical operators and there are more operators that you can use in Python than this but we're going to focus really on just on the main four that you're going to come across and the first thing that you will be thinking is that you can do these things and you know what these things mean already so in Python we can add we can use the subtract sign and we can subtract variables uh, to and from each other we can divide and that's what we use as a divide symbol in Python it's not the same as a divide symbol that you might use when you're doing maths and that the star symbol is what we use for multiplying an asterisk um, and again that's slightly different to how we write multiply normally but these are all mathematical operators and we can use them to help change the values of our programs so what we're going to do is we're going to model that very quickly uh, both in scratch and in python uh, just to show you how it works and again the principles are similar in both so let's start off in um, scratch so here is the program that we wrote last week in Scratch where we were again asking how long the user wanted the size of the square to be, setting the length to that particular size and then using that variable throughout the program. Well, we can change our sides, uh, the length of our variable or the, or the value of our variable very, very easily. Now you can see in here that obviously we've got um, a variables block but what we've also got is an operators block and you can see at the top here I hope you can see that we've got plus minus times and divide and that means that we can change we can use those to change the value of any number of variables that we've used in our program so what we're going to do let's demonstrate that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, I'm going to use a variables block and I'm going to go uh, set in there um, and I'm going to go to operators and what I'm going to do is when the user enters the length I'm going to double it okay so if they enter 50 it's going to turn the length of into 100 so I'm going to use plus to do that so I'm going to go set length to something plus something so I want length to be length plus the value of length again so I'm just going to put uh, length plus length so if length is 50 length plus length must be 100 so let's just run that and we'll be able to see at the top of the program whether that's worked so if I press uh, agree there we go to go so it's asking for the length of our variable so let's type in let's see if it works 50 and there you can see it's doubled it the length is actually 100 so that's how I've done that using addition I could do it a different method I could do it by let's try it a different way uh, operators by multiplying it by 2 so where was it I'm gonna go operators let's see times I'll do the same thing again this time I'm gonna put uh, a length times and then I'm just going to write 2 in there okay so run the program how long do I want the signs to be this time I'm going to put 100 in 
and you can see it's changed that variable to 200. So I could easily use any of the mathematical operators to change the value of what the users first put in. So plus, minus, times, or divide. So let's have a let's have a little look at how that works in Python, and it's very very similar. Here is the equivalent program that we've written in Python from last week, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a command here that's going to print the length of our variable. So print length. So this is going to confirm what the user has entered, right? And then I'm going to change it. So I'm going to do length equals length times two print length. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, for the moment, I'm just going to delete those lines because I'm just going to focus on showing you how this works without doing the drawing. So if I save that and run it, oops. We've got a little mistake in my program there, uh, and I did. I forgot to put brackets in. So a little syntax error there. It shows you do have to be careful. Let's try that again. So I want to put in uh, the length of the size of the square. If I put in 50, there you can see what it's done. It's printed the original length, 50. Then it's doubled it, length equals length times 2 and then it's printed it again so I could change the value. If I wanted to halve it, put that in. Okay, stop, stop the program, run it again. Okay, we'll forget the, uh, in fact, what we'll do, just to make it a bit easier for you, let's get rid of the, the turtle elements altogether because we don't really need those to demonstrate this idea to you. Um, stop the program. Okay, so length of the size of my square, I want, um, 100 and look it's divided it by 2 100 divided by 2 is 50 so I can use any of these operators minus plus to change the value of the numbers in, in the data in my program but let's just remind ourselves what happens in Python if when we're working with numbers we don't tell the computer that we're working with numbers if I delete if I get rid of the int going to get an error. Oh, this is not gonna, it's not going to work as we want it to. Okay, times two. Right, so uh, I'm going to enter, so the size of my square is 100, and what it's done, it's doubled it, but all it's done is put 100 on the end of 100, because it thinks it's a piece of text, so it just thinks it wants me to stick one piece of text on the end of another piece of text, so that's not quite what we want. So we've got to remember to use integer or int if we're dealing with numbers. So remember, Python can't tell what we're dealing with. So we can use the idea of changing value, changing the value of our variables to make bigger and smaller squares and shapes in Python. So why not try, or, or indeed scratch, so why not try writing a program that will take a number from a user and then draw three squares increasingly large in size each time and use variables to do that. If you need to recap how this is done, come back to this video and watch either the Scratch or the Python bit again. But uh, good luck and have 